so you may be wondering why the title of this video says 2008 Toyota Yaris instead of something that involves 3D printers. So the reason why I spent $500 on a Toyota Yaris is because it was missing a lot of components that I felt that I could 3D print and I thought it'd be interesting to show you how I managed to do all that. But before I can actually 3D print anything, I need to make sure that the car runs properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is a bit of maintenance in the car. So the Kelly Blue Book value for like the lowest possible amount you can get for everything that's wrong with that vehicle is around 500 bucks. And that's what I got the car for. But the private sale trade value of the low end is a lot higher than that. And I basically got it for the traded value rather than the private party value. So save a bit of money there. And I got this Toyota Yaris for about 500 bucks. And it's got a lot of work that it needs. And I'm gonna go show you what that's all about. So the first three things they did on the vehicle were changing the wheels, the tires, and the brakes. Um, those are all the safety things that I need for the vehicle. And the tires were old, the rims were bent, and the brakes, well, the brakes were down to bare metal on the shoes on the rear. The front brakes looked good, so I left those alone, but I'll eventually replace the pads and the rotors for the front of the vehicle, but it looks fine for right now. So before I drove here, I actually already replaced the tires and the rims. Um, I got new tires from uh, my buddy Carlos at Pops Tires. The grill is broken. It's missing some of the weather stripping and these panels right here. It has no windshield wipers. Um, and I don't think the windshield wiper motor works. You can see that it has these dents on the side of the uh, car. And the driver door is really scratched up. It's got a dent up here on the hood. I'll show you the inside in a minute. If you look at this side, another large dent here. So it's missing the gas door and the cap. It's got more dents along the side of the car right there. Back seat doesn't look too bad. But as you can see that the handle does not stay on the door this one however does stay on the door but this is where you can see the tint starting to come off right here it's starting to peel a little bit yeah and besides the wheels that's the only thing that i've gotten so far i need to get a battery for it as well i'll show you that this one when you actually roll up this window there is no window so the window is actually broken um they cleaned it up but apparently someone vandalized the car and broke this window and got into it and tore the radio out. This doesn't go down. I'm gonna go to the junkyard and try to find one of these. The brakes were way off. Um, I, I used to pull this up to here and the e-brake still wouldn't do that. So I went under here and adjusted that. And there is no boot or gear shift knob for the car. As you can see here, no radio. The climate control system actually works, but the climate control panel is missing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to work on that. But uh, the, the AC and everything does work when the car runs. And again, this window is missing. So on the driver's side, there's this panel missing here. I don't even know what goes here. I, I'm assuming it was something, but um, as you can see, the directionals have been ripped off the car. And the window motor um, cap has been ripped off as well. So I believe the switch in here still works for the window motor. Um, as far as I'm aware, the windshield wipers do not work. I tried them recently and they, did, they didn't turn on. Lastly, let's show you under the hood. Uh, it's missing its engine cover. The battery that's in here is actually a jump and go portable jump starter. There is no voltage on that jump starter right now, so I can't run the car. Luckily, I went to AutoZone and got myself a Duralast starter. And that's how I got it to this parking lot here. I'm just I'm just here because I'm, I'm showing you um, all the stuff that's happened on this car. But this little thing here, let me see. Yep. I got full charge on this and you can hear the engine prime and everything so everything works and if you start it up it 
It sputters a little bit, but uh, it stays running. It doesn't have a battery, so you gotta try to uh, keep it going with that. Um, it does stay in idle, um, but if you look over here, that's trip A, that's trip B. It's got 289,355 miles on it. That's wild. That's pretty much the entire car right there. I can kind of drive it and I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna run to AutoZone, get a battery. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I gave it juice and it died. Let's go ahead and start this back up. Grab this. But yeah, 500 bucks. Fair condition. Oh, it's also missing the sun visors up here. So those are broken off. But for 500 bucks, I got a running car, kind of. So right now I'm gonna head to AutoZone and get a battery. So I'm headed to AutoZone right now. I'll be there soon. Whew, okay. So I made it back to my buddy Angelo's house. So this air filter, by the looks of it, it looks pretty dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that as well. So the first thing I got was an AGM 35 Duralast Platinum Battery. I'll be using this to power all the electronics I'm gonna to add to the vehicle and it'll actually start my car. So it fits in there pretty nice. I did get the right size battery. Let's go ahead and test this puppy out. When I get in this death machine. So that battery's shaking around. So I'll have to secure that down. So there's a comparison between the old filter and the new filter. That new filter is going to be going in right now. And before I forget, making sure those are nice and secure. Another thing I also got from AutoZone is a gas cap. with a key so I can lock it because <laughs> there doesn't have a door to lock it. The car seems to work pretty well and luckily I got it with a near full tank of gas. So this is the amazing Duralast jump starter that I got. It does air and it jump starts the car and it's got two USB ports. But I love this thing. So I'm going to trip back to AutoZone. I finally got myself a review mirror. Uh, that goes on there nice. So then after I got the oil change, the oil filter, the air filter, new tires, new wheels, and the gas cap, the review mirror, I was pretty much done for the day and the entire car was ready to go. In the next video, I'll show you some of the other components that I'm gonna be start working on on the vehicle. Basically, this is my new project box. And instead of these small, tiny components, I have something really big to work on that I can fit tons of electronics in. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. I know this isn't the format of my usual videos. Hopefully I can get back to doing some 3D printing with the vehicle really soon. But if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you have any questions about this video, which you really shouldn't, or suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave your comments down below. And like I said, this is going to be an ongoing project for me. So I'm going to be working on the car and 3D printing stuff to make it look better and make it look cooler. But I'll see you in the next video.